big part of my responsibility is doing what we call mission performance assessment. So I have a group of engineers that does modeling and sim and is able to assess our technology's performance in realistic mission scenarios. And connecting that kind of environment into this digital environment or the, the source of truth for the design or the production allows us through the through the requirements phase through the design phase and all the way through the build and operations to be able to quickly understand if there's a change in a requirement or a design how that ripples through the system to mission performance and in the past that would take months to figure out and lots of engineers doing paper analysis now we're able to turn that crank that full crank to show how a, a change will impact the overall cost schedule and, and performance of the system. And we can do that quickly now. So a really interesting thing is we say digital engineering, but it really is not just about engineers, right? We can have really detailed discussions and use a lot of amazing digital tools that will take our cost modeling capabilities and be able to disseminate that information to the program leadership so that we can make better cost technology and schedule decisions going forward. We in the past have delivered our products, our design products especially, to customers in big stacks of paper. And we're now able to deliver design products as a model digitally and they can review these products digitally and they're reviewing the source of truth as they review it. They're not reviewing three months old document that has changed five times since then. So that, that's a that's a big benefit to our customers. And you know, their their culture is also evolving to be able to do that, right? They're, they have a lot of uh, late career engineers that are also used to reading paper and like to read paper. So that that's a change on their side as well. But I think it's a huge benefit. I would say early in career, folks are, are coming in more predisposed to using digital means to make educated decisions. So the easiest example is I live in Los Angeles. If I want to go eat, I know where I'm going. I make a reservation on my phone. All of that is backed up on my iCloud account, you know, uh, data storage and, and having uh, copies of information in, in different places is something that I've been used to since, you know, I was growing up with, with uh, an iPhone in my hand since middle school, right? So all of the, the early and career folks that are coming in from college now understand how to back things up on a cloud. They understand how to make decisions using digital means, and they understand how to get information to people quickly with the use of things like social media, which is very equivalent to the, the sharing type products that we have across enterprises now. So these are all second nature and worked into universities, worked into collaborative groups that all of these new graduates are, are working in when, when they're going through their education. So they're coming in with a leg up on the competition. They understand how to get things out there. They understand how to have virtual meetings, communicate virtually, make those decisions using digital and virtual means. And that's something that COVID has accelerated, right? With, without COVID and without the need for this to happen, it might not have happened so quickly. Um, but it certainly was a requirement to keep the business rolling that we had to make these changes. We had to trust people to work at home. We had to trust people to follow things online and work from you know their, their unclassified accounts uh, responsibly and still get things done so that the business could succeed. And that's what happened and that's what they're uh, continuing to do.